All right, let's get started. Shift A, adding a circle, and let's come down here. Um, I think it should be fine with 32, but this one, this time, I don't want the fill type as nothing. I can just do ngong. That's pretty much what I wanted to do. And then, because we're doing on the top view, I basically wanted to rotate it, and here, holding Control key, uh, 90 degrees. And then, what I'm going to do next is going to hit I key to insert it. Uh, to kind of do a very small circle and in here and then I'm going to adding some loop cut control R to adding some loop cuts here you can even dial the numbers you can do 10 or maybe uh, 20 whatever you want to do so this time I'm just going to do 12 and so we have enough vertices over here and the next I'm going to delete some vertices that I'm not going to use so alt Z uh, simply just do select all these drag a box and hit X to delete the vertices. So this is kind of like rainbow shape uh, that I, we want to do. And then we are just going to select all these and uh, over here and hit E Z to drag it down. So that become the shape that we want to create. It's more like an arch or, or like a, a bridge, whatever you call this. And then I'm going to adding some loop cut in here. Uh, not that much and look in here next we're going to giving this shape a thickness okay so hit select a and the e y just getting some thickness going on here and then click here now alt z we have this so one thing i want to make sure that you guys are being doing right so is checking the face orientation so we can go here to check the face orientation right now you're seeing everything is in red which means it's inside. So we need to do a, a, a recalculate normal. So select everything, hit A key, and shift N to recalculate the normals. Now you see everything is in blue, which means it's, uh, it's being correct. So that is a good thing. So then what we can do here is we're going to select the edge loops that we want to creating some texture over here, okay? So we're gonna deselect this face orientation first then we're gonna holding alt shift and click and then we can select the entire loop okay so we're gonna do this and but we're gonna do every other loops okay so doing this oops this one this one right here so i think that it should be good uh because we're adding a, a little bit too much and it's not an even number, so if we have one more loop, that would be perfect. So what we can do here, we can actually just adding one more loop if you want, uh, but it's not that even. So uh, next time when you're adding the loop cuts, making sure you having a you know a little bit one more of loop cut you can add it on. But this time for the purpose of the look, I'm just going to use this one. Okay, and now you see both side has been linked because this is a, a closed loop, and I go to the top view. Alt Z go to the X-ray mode, and now we're gonna hit S Y, just kind of like getting this thing pushed inside inward to the to this geometry. So now you can see this become having some shapes or textures going on here. All right, so this is the shape that we want to have. But however, if we're going to adding a subsurface modifier, it's gonna ruin the details. So they're always like that. So we can try Control Two. So you see. This is not really maintain the look we want to have, especially the sharp edge down here and also the detail over here. So what we can do here, we're going to adding some bevel. OK, so deselect the, the uh, subsurface modifier temporarily. we we'll go to get and then go back to the edit mode and we are going to go to the edge selection mode where you can hit number two. And then we are going to do the select sharp edge. OK. Let's do that. Select sharp edge. Now you can see Blender help us to select the sharp edge based on this degree. And interestingly, looks like about exactly the edge that we want to use. So uh, I think we can just go ahead using this and do Control B to bevel it. And then this time we're still going to change the, the width to 0.2. And let's go with two segment. And because we want to maintain the shape, a little bit sharp so i'm just going to change this to one usually we change the sharp you see we are having like a, a a pole we don't want to have that so we can just change this to arc 
So you will see, yeah, it's actually more open, and we need to do some links in order to fix this later on. But in general, that should be good. So now I think we're doing pretty good. I am actually want to make this bevel width a little bit smaller. So I think 0 0.01 should be good. Uh, then let's go tap out and then we're gonna having the sub service modifier turn on go to the object mode that's good right click uh, shade smooth so we'll get a rating of that a small shading issue and now it looks pretty decent right i know there in the bottom part there are some ungongs uh, but because again the reason the ungong doesn't really matter in this situation is because this is a completely flat surface so again I know quads is so important, typology is important, but in some cases, if you are not going to use this for animation or deform the shape, you don't need to worry about this flat surface. But for this case, you know, because we were trying to, to learn better on typology, so we are going to do some adjustment on here. So we can simply just link these two, hit J to join that. So we can just simply just do that. Or when you bevel it, we can bevel this one as well, this edge. So we are just going to do that uh, to fix this, okay? Okay, now after I link all these vertices, you, this one has been fixed in the bottom part, and we can actually do a quick check to see how many ungons that we need to deal with. But let's go with the face selection mode, and then we're gonna go with Q and the face by size. If you don't know where to find it, you can go here, select, uh, select all by trace, and you can do that face by size. Now you see everything being selected is in qua, so we can turn this thing off, making sure everything is in qua. So typically, if I want to make the thing look a little bit better or more professional, I would say, I'm going to adding some loop cut to support this edges to making sure we have like relatively even grid shape and because each space uh, square or quads looks a little bit even so i think this looks good and then this is the the shape that we want to create and once you have a lighting going on here you will have some pretty cool uh, shadow or texture going on here definitely you can make the thing you can adjusting this thing uh, to the to the length you as as long as you want or shorter you want that you can just do some justification or even you can make this kind of a bridge or arc make a little bit flatter so you hit s z you can do that so you can certainly change the shape or everything you want so this is kind of a cool practice to understand how to modeling this using a proper topology and also bevel operation okay so all right this is everything i want to share with you for this quick blender practice if you are enjoyed this short blender modeling on topology practice and please making sure you hit likes and uh, share and then leave comments if you have any questions regarding this tutorial and thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye